Hi everyone, Sarah here. I have a project to share with you for the Not Too Shabby Shop on Zibit. Um, before I show you my project though, I just wanted to show on Jamie's Zibit Shop, Not Too Shabby, I'll have the links all down below, but you will see the first item that comes up on her list is this Polycraft Fall Card Kit. And I just wanted to show you guys. It is on sale right now for $17.99. And it includes uh, one Polycraft, Polycraft stamp, so you can choose either Pip or Russell. So this is Russell right here, and Pip is the little girl. So if you choose to buy this, all you need to put in your um, notes on your purchase which stamp that you would like. So you get Pip or Russell. You get a 6x6 paper pad, the Lawn Fawn Dewey Decimal. You also get burlap trims by Petaloo and burlap blooms by Petaloo and then a doilies pack by Petaloo. So all of those for $17.99. Awesome! <laughs> so I'm going to push you guys back down here so you don't see my mega mess on my desk. And like I said, I used Russell, which Jamie sent me from Not Too Shabby Shop. I also used the Happy Harvest stamp set. Used a couple of sayings from there. Um, I just have a couple sheets of like fall type paper left over. Uh, and this was from Basic Gray Indian Summer. And then I used some trims and embellishments just from my stash. So here is my card. Oh, I also used a craft card stock for the card, and then this is just a um, solid card stock. It has like the water, water paper texture to it. This is from Ohio. It's uh, one that I had purchased before. Let me see if I can make this brighter for you guys. All right. So I stamped him out on Bristol paper. I just thought I would give it a try because I had a couple sheets in my stamped images box. So I stamped them out and I did a really careful coloring so that I didn't go out of my lines so that I could leave him on his piece of paper. I didn't want to have to cut out all his leaves and fussy cut around all these little edges. And honestly guys, I don't know if he's a hedgehog or a squirrel. He looks like both to me. <laughs> he's super cute. That's all I know. <laughs> um, I will post, I'll do a post tomorrow on my blog with the Copic colors that I used to color them up, so just in case you want that. So here's the stamp, nothing better than a friend like you. Um, I used uh, my dies, sorry this one's a Sizzix and this one is my favorite things. Um, this little trim back here. It's like a crinkle paper. I bought this at a scrapping yard sale quite some time ago. Um, but you could easily put burlap trim in there. And then I used this orange crochet trim and that is from Hobby Lobby. And then I had these little um, foam leaves and they were just from the dollar store. I think I bought them last year. So they've been in my stash. I just put a couple here and there. And then I layered the gem leaves, which were from Michael's Dollar Fifty bin from years ago. So that is the front of the card. And then on the inside, I used the same cardstock and the same banner. Just put a smaller piece of this trim and one foam leaf and one gem leaf. And then I used So Thankful for You. And I stamped around the edges. Yeah, I do it too. <laughs> All right, so there is my cute card using Russell. Um, head on over to the Not Too Shabby Shop. Uh, do remember if you purchase uh, U.S. over $40, there's free ship U.S. code for free shipping. And international purchases over $50 is INTL 3 off for $3 off your shipping. Alright, leave a comment, subscribe if you wish, and have a great day. Thanks, bye.